that make a better day for you there, Mom? Does that make a better day for you? I think it's a bigger day. Did you show her the sign? Those are unauthorized. Well, see, I got on a plane and then it flew. <laughs> and then I got Houston, then it flew again. And that's weird, I ended up in Tampa. And then he was at the airport. And and then we ended up at his work. And I just ended up here. I don't get it. You got makeup right here, so. <laughs> and you kind of look like a turtle. I'm going to show the phone a bit. Of um, the camera. Of what? Stop. What a great surprise, huh? <laughs> you I didn't know anything. Right. It's going to be a good day, Mom. Like Is that why you said that? Yes. You knew. I kept telling you. She, her you and I were the only ones that knew. Blake didn't even know. <laughs> Nobody else knows either. I didn't even know. That was like the best reaction ever. You just like spontaneously just like, oh, I'm combusted. <laughs> like, my head exploded or something. We were trying to think of a way to do this. I was gonna have her lay on the bed. You're gonna come into the bed. Message. Oh, never mind. No. Nope. He looks like a turtle. Oh, right. Well, good morning, everybody. Our park is gonna be opening in just a few short minutes, but it's tradition here at the Great Escape that we choose a family of the day every morning. Hi, He'll be back. He'll be back. Today, it's our honor to have the Chadwick family of Queensbury here with us. We have Alicia, Zoe, and Aubrey. Good morning, ladies. So, I have a very special job for you. Our family of the day announces when the park opens every morning. But before we do that, we have another tradition where we play our country's national anthem. And now, I know something about you guys. So we have a very special treat for you. Your dad, right girls? Staff Sergeant Donald Chadwick of the United States Air Force has been gone for a while, huh? Since Christmas time or so? So we want something very special in honor of your dad and all the brave men and women that are serving our country every day. So instead of just playing the national anthem, we have our vocalist, entertainment team member Carly Merrill, who's going to sing it live for us. And then when she's done, we'll announce that the park is open. Okay? All right, Carly. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting Still there, oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave? Thank you, Carly. So we have one more thing to do, and that is to announce that the park is open. So would you girls come this way with me just a little bit? And if you're shy, that's okay. All right. So why don't we turn this way? And on the count of three, we're going to say the park is open. One. You know what? Hold on. You girls are kind of little. We might need a louder voice. You want somebody to help us do it? Can we get some help on this? 
Who can help us announce that the park is open? Frankie, come on. What's up? <laughs> Staff Sergeant Donald Chadwick. We love you, Joe. Are we going to open the park, don't we? Staff Sergeant Chadwick. Oh, yeah, we still have to open the park. <laughs> <laughs> smile. Read the camera, smile. Texas for a couple weeks for uh, training. Okay, so I know everybody's going to ask, how, getting hugs from two little girls. Oh, that was awesome. I wouldn't change it for the world. <laughs> okay. Let's get a new car. You got a new car? <laughs> we can keep a secret, can't we? Uh, Don, you want to pick up Robert? Is this your right? first stop? No. Yeah. Since back home? Uh, Texas. Texas. Uh, <laughs> Texas. Texas. No. Okay. Oh, since I've been to Queensbury, yes. Well, lots of bagels was the first time. <laughs> Good choice. So uh, when did you decide to, uh, to pull this little uh, prank here? Oh, I didn't decide. She came up with the idea. Oh. <laughs> it was her idea, and I went along with it. We went to my daughter's birthday party, but uh, the Air Force messed up on his travel time. So we had to figure something else out. So I contacted Jessica and asked her if she wanted to help us out and surprise the girls that she was here. You contacted the park? Yes, I did. So, how, well, they were, were pretty like receptive. Very. Yep. You guys come here a lot? Yeah, we've been here 19 times this year already. Uh, how long in the in the, in the making was this uh, little uh, surprise? Uh, three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah, I know. Not bad, then. Not bad. How hard was it to keep it from the girls? Very, very hard. Especially today because we uh, our travel arrangements got messed up. His flight got canceled. And we got the last rental car for him to drive from D.C. to here. From where? D.C. So he has not had any sleep at all. So he drove all the way from D.C. I picked him up in Albany. He drove up here with another guy. And the other guy took the rental car back and we drove back up here from Albany. So I've been up since 4. And he's been back in our basement since 6 o'clock He was in your this basement morning. this morning? Oh my god. <laughs> they hit me in the basement. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Alicia, what's it mean to you to not only see your husband, but to see you all together here for the first time in eight months? Uh, everything. 
it means everything to me. It's been really hard for my girls, especially um, my oldest. My oldest is a daddy's girl. She's very shy. And that's all she says every single day is that she wants her father back. So it's just sad that he has to go back in two weeks, but we're trying to, you know, not focus on that and live day to day. This is going to be one of those things that they'll remember for the rest of their life. They really. will, yes, and they love the Great Escape, so it'll be good. All of us watching got goosebumps. How's it feel to be sort of in the middle of all? Uh, emotional. Goosebumps as well. Kind of nerve-wracking. At first I was like, I did all this and now it's not going to happen. I had a huge breakdown last night because I'm like, we got to get him off. I was actually all the way past Albany when we finally got a rental car. So I was going to drive out, get him, and then drive back and try to be back in time for this this right. morning. You were going to try to drive to DC I and was, back? Yes. Oh, oh man. I was going to try to make it. I asked him, you know, he's watched some of the videos and so on. We've all seen those countless times, news or clips or so on. And I guess your older daughter's watched them finally. And oh, yeah. What's it feel to be part of one of these now? Uh, it's emotional. It's exciting. I'm happy that my girls have their dad and I have them back too for a little while. And what what are these next two weeks going to be? What you got a whole list of uh, oh, yeah, things or high? I have a lot of things that I have already planned. How long has he been in and uh, when do you think, he, when, when is he going to get out? He's a lifer and oh. we've been in for six years. So. Okay. Our next spot is McGuire Air Force Base, so it's right next to Six Flags, yeah. <laughs> We're excited about that, so we should be uh, moving there in a couple months and then he'll follow on in January. I don't know. He was moving closer and closer okay, to the edge. How did you see him? Okay, now so, you go back to class. I peeked. All right. Uh,
<laughs> Don't cry, it's happy. I cried. <laughs> you play video games? Yeah. <laughs> I want it. I want it to be a surprise okay, since you haven't seen the new house yet. Cute. Go look at the kitchen. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like this. I'm table. really excited for you to see your new bedroom. I like this table. You do? Yes. Okay. Well, come here. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold your horses. Cute. I like it. It looks good. Yeah, we gotta put that TV up. Hey, can we switch those back again? <laughs> what? Are the Twilight dolls? You want them different? Yeah, I want Bella. Hold on, I gotta run, get and something ready. I wanna show you the office area down here, how we got the computer set up. Hey. Where's Where's he at? Yeah. I'm yeah. I want you to check out this awesome computer desk, Kenzie. Yeah, okay. it only took me five and a half days to put it together. Hey, I got to Hey there, girl. Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Gunner, <laughs> Gunner, be quiet. You thought you had five days. Is that a good surprise? <laughs> oh. She's like, I've only got five days till I see Daddy. Oh. Let's just see how shocked she was. Why don't you jump down and show Daddy how tall you are? She says she's getting too tall and her feet are getting too big like yours. <laughs> Hush, <laughs> <Basketball is being. laughs> Gunner. See, I was excited to see Daddy too. A little too excited. <laughs> So how happy are you? A lot. I <laughs> <laughs> stood there for a few minutes before she got the right hand. <laughs> so sweet. We tried it. We were going to try to surprise you at school, but Daddy's flight was late. So, we thought we surprised you here. <laughs> were you shocked? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
I got you. <laughs> Happy birthday. So go change your clothes, you get to come home. Yes, right now. Hi, Dad. How you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. I miss you. I miss you, too. <laughs> you doing all right? Yeah. Got you too, huh? Yeah. I was in June, so don't worry about it. Yeah, we went and got Kristen too. <laughs> wow. You happy? Uh huh. Home for 15 days. Did I get you? Yeah. Yeah, we're all like. Hi. Come to film you. Why? We wanted to see you. Them up today. Oh my god. I can't believe you did that to me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm shaking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why did you come in? <laughs> We'd also like to recognize the person who came the farthest to be with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, will you help me welcome? Navy CB Culinary Specialist First Class, Steve Kioski. Steve is returning from Iraq after 10 months of active duty. Now that's what I call a family reunion. Uh,
surprise you? <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was Sunday. <laughs> Pretty right. cool. Thank you guys for letting us do this. <laughs> Maybe steal her. Yeah. Maybe take her away. <laughs> Thank you guys for being the <laughs>